Club on Your Sideline is sponsored by Side and Stricker Novi John Deere. Welcome into Five on Your Sideline. I'm Ahmad Hicks, and while it may be my last Friday night here in St. Louis, we've still got some business to take care of first. I'm Corey Miller, and that's right, Ahmad. No time to get all sappy <laughs> just yet. We've got a show to do, we do. and a little bit more fun to have, mm -hmm. so we're going to have you kick it off with the highlights. Well, why don't we start with a rivalry game? This Smet and the Junior Bills of SLU. Marco Sansone trying to find some space and get it to one of his guys down the field, but the Smet's EJ Bias said, I need those, Mr. Sansone. We're headed the other way after the interception. Chris Cotton is one of our area's best at playmakers and athletes, and I think he decided to show off while I was there. How Looking for someone to throw be? to. Watch him. He says, let me channel my Michael Vick Ooh. flow right here. Crossing field, making all of these slew players look very, very slow. He would be tackled just short of the end zone, but that play would come back due to a holding call. No worries if you're a Spartans fan, though. They win 37 to 20. All right, Troy versus Timberland. Big battle out west. It was actually a one-sided battle tonight. Nick Bova gets that carry, runs right up the middle, untouched, all the way to the house for a Troy touchdown. Watch this, Mike. He's going to hit a pose. Here it comes. Here it comes. The ninja. There's oh, the pose. Okay. Nice pose. Oh, subtle. Subtle. Okay. Here's another good run. Charles Sutton sneaks through the line. He's untouched as well. He explodes. Deeks a guy. He's gone. What a run for the score right there. The Trojans roll big time in this one. They beat Timberland 44-12. A beautiful sight in Kirkwood for their matchup with Marquette. And Mr. Do-It-All for the Wood, Deion Brown, takes the Wildcat handoff, and he sets up his team in scoring position with this nice run. A.J. Kent Liska finishes the drive off with a field goal. Kirkwood would take a three-point lead, but the horses were rolling for Marquette. Justin Jackson saw green grass and nearly took off for six points before a host of Pioneers would bring him down at midfield. After several nice runs from Jackson, Jack Albrand calls his own number, and it would be the right call. Mustangs take the lead and they take the victory away from Kirkwood 20 to 17. Oh man, Pioneers couldn't send you off right, Ahmad. A heartbreaker. Eureka at Pattonville taking on the Pirates and these Pirates they can air it out a little bit. Byron McNair is going to put this one in the air and DeAndre Rush Jr. Great catch to haul it in right there. Eureka does their work on the ground. We know this and for once this is not going to be a rushing Eureka highlight from Kevin Emanuel. <laughs> this is Trey Haneke who's going to get the call and he makes the house call. Wildcats go up there but you knew Emanuel would get his too. He pounds this one in for the short touchdown. Eureka goes on to win 34-7. Mr. Deuce Deuce. St. Mary's on the road at St. Dominic. Dragons have some firepower and they flex like Corey Muscles tonight. Oh, Donovan gosh. McIntosh is going to take this ball and the only person who gets close to touching him is his <laughs> own teammate. He's gone down the sideline for the score. That's why he's a Division I prospect. St. Mary's has playmakers on defense too and they were all Ooh. over this run. Up the gut. That's a big time tackle. Dragons go on to win big. 49 to 10, 100th win for St. Mary's head coach Ken Turner. Congrats to Coach Turner. Up next, a gorgeous night for some. Look at that shot. Great Ooh, shot yeah. by Jimmy Krukow. Parkway West versus Parkway North. The Longhorns, Joseph Federer, following all that beef up front. That leads to a Longhorns touchdown. You wrote that. That's a good. I like that. <laughs> Gotta love high school students and their pep spirit. Must have been <laughs> safari <laughs> night. <laughs> safari night. All right. And fitting because Federer was on the loose and he found his teammate Trenton Livingston in the wild. Or should I say, you definitely wrote this in the end zone. Another TD for West. Vikings got the victory though. They went 40 to 35. <laughs> Gotta work on spelling safari, <laughs> man. Gotta mix up the reality <laughs> character. Lafayette fans always show up and man did they tonight versus Ledoux. Early on, you know what's coming if you see the quarterback throw back. A double pass. Zay oh, Jones to a wide oh. open. Kayla Lokeman and the Lancers fans. Well, they had a reason to cheer after that one. But Jones wasn't done on the night. He says, call me Booby Miles because I do it all. <laughs> if you don't know who Booby is, please go watch Friday Night Lights tonight. Lafayette wins 49 to 10. Tackle Hunger is sponsored by Neighbors Credit Union. Here you belong. This week's Game of the Week saw a team on the rebound from a disappointing last season, taking on a team trying to rebound from a few bad games. Rittner went 0-10 last season, but came into tonight with a 4-1 record this year. Lindbergh has lost their last two games and looked to get back on track. Something had to give. So let's head out to Rittner for Huskies and Flyers. First up, it's going to be Owen Norman, who finds Victor Wheaton. For the score, Flyers go up. Rittner had some good defense tonight, though. A host of Huskies going to get the tackle there in the backfield. Really nice play. Lindbergh has a pretty good running back, though. His name is Jake Inlow, and he got his yards for sure. 
Here he comes. He's going to break a few tackles, go up the far sideline. That would end up setting up a field goal. This was a good one. It was a close one. But Lindward pulls out the victory 19-14. So how did these two schools match up off the field for Tackle Hunger? Well, Rittner claimed the victory there, collecting 1,800 pounds of food this week. Lindbergh checked in with just over 1,200. So far this year, Tackle Hunger has collected 22,000 pounds of food, valued at more than $40,000. Great job by all.